got some hot sauce questions. Oh, okay. Are there going to be any new flavors? You know, we're always thinking about new stuff. Uh, you know, as, as, as opposed to like Sammy's tequila, I'm not in this where I, uh, I guess I could just devote a lot of time to it and really try to build this into a big thing, but uh, there again, it's just kind of like a hobby of yeah. mine, you know? And it's fun. And yeah, we might come out with some other, we're, t we're uh, thinking about like some uh, Asian dipping sauce type of stuff, and you know, we got a bunch of ideas that are cooking right now. Uh, I think once I heard there might be a plan for uh, a sauce with a little splash of Cabo Wabo tequila in it. Yeah, we've been talking about that too. But then I got to give a piece of it to Hagar. So I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we actually uh, uh, we didn't really uh, go forward with it, but we actually came out with a. We were calling it the MA shot, and what it was was uh, a combination of my hot sauce. It was almost like a Bloody Mary type of shot. It was like a, a spicy Bloody Mary mix, but it had my hot sauce and Sammy's tequila in it, and like a little slice of jalapeno or something like that on the rim. And it was actually a pretty cool. Uh, and we, we talked with the uh, the Hard Rocks about doing that uh, men, doing that on their menu item, but for whatever reason, you know, I guess it, unless it's something that they know is going to sell a zillion of, you know, they don't want to mm -hmm. put a lot of effort into. But uh, yeah, we're always kicking stuff around, and I, and I, I talked to Sammy about it, about different things and what he's done with his tequila is pretty pretty incredible. I mean, as much as people go, oh, you know, Sammy's just one big infomercial or whatever, but you know, hey. Look at the tequila, though. You know, I mean, he's eight million dollars richer yeah. <laughs> because of it too, and 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 the you know the tequila's great. I heard Kenny Chesney is now trying to come out with his own rum. Yeah, I mean, every, I mean, uh, Vince Neil yeah, came Vince out with Neal. a tequila, didn't he, or something or like that, or, or, uh, or something like that, not that long ago. And it's like everybody's jumping on the. I kind of jumped on the bandwagon with my hot sauce because actually Joe Perry was doing his when I right. did mine, and. Uh, the main thing I didn't want to do, I didn't want to slap my name on a bottle of hot sauce and someone makes it goes, oh, this is my one of these hot sauces. I wanted to be involved from the ground floor, and that's how I did it with the people that I got involved with. Came actually came up with this is the flavor that I created. Right. You and were making it for yourself. Yeah, and then. yeah. Because more than that, I was just like, wow, man, I can make the hot sauce that I want to make for myself, and I'll have, this guy can make it for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right. Instead of like at home, I'll mix. I'm all, I'll always mix like two or three different hot sauces and come up, uh -huh. come up with something different and uh, you know and then we put the hot sauce out and actually in the hot sauce community we they're, they're, they do a hot sauce uh, fiery foods challenge in Texas every year and uh, we entered my hot sauce and my mustard we didn't even have a label for it yet and out of 150 gourmet hot sauces mine came in second and my mustard placed first and then all of a sudden I got magazines like Chili Pepper Magazine yeah. interviewing Joe Perry. They're putting me against Joe Perry, but we were both laughing. I was going, hey, I got a bottle of his hot sauce in my fridge also. You know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, that, and I think that's what actually, you know, gave it some legs where it could actually launch that way on its own. Because, you know, other, other than that, you know, I'm sure like any other business, you know, Sammy tried it with his clothing line. It's tough. And even if you have a name or whatever, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, really tough. And... Uh, you know, we were able to actually launch the sauce, and you know, it does it does really well. Last year in October, November, I went out with Sammy, and I actually had this thing I called the Mad Anthony Express, and we opened up. We didn't play anywhere any dates on the West Coast, but we did about 40 minutes of Van Halen, and I sang mm -hmm. it all. And we tried to do some of the more obscure stuff, yeah. you know, uh, like Light Up the Sky, all that stuff. Uh, and we had to kind of keep away from what Van Halen was playing live at the time too, you know. Cause I, but uh, the only reason I did that, and uh, and uh, you know, because I always hear people go, "Yeah, Dave's out there with his Van Halen cover band, you know, doing living off the of Van Halen legend." The only reason that only reason that I did that was because I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do, mm -hmm. and my intent was never to all of a sudden go out on the road right. and, and start doing that. And people, have, I've got I've had offers from all kinds of people going, "Man, you got to do this. You got to put, put this thing together and go out and." and tour here and there and whatever, and I thought, no. I said, you know, I, I did it to just celebrate the music, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I don't need the money to go out and do that, and I don't want to, you know, I would never do something like that, you know. I'll let Dave do that, you know. One of, those, <laughs> one of our favorite shows in Cabo was your Matt Anthony Express show last year. Yeah. When you're out there lead singing. It was fun. I, you know, I've, did, I've done it a couple times in Lake Tahoe. There was one time at, you know, Sammy's uh, Tahoe Wabo Club, uh, when uh, he got sick and he canceled, 
And I was down there and I said, hey, you know what, the fans are all down here and I know a lot of them would be pissed off because they travel a long ways to come see our place. It'll still do it. So we played in the, cl in the, in the club, in the mm -hmm. cantina. And uh, it was a blast, you know. And then Sammy ha invited me to do this thing on this, this cruise ship thing that he does. Oh, yeah. That I don't know if he's going to do it again, but uh, this year and last year I did it. He asked me to play last year. And I thought, well, I'm not going to go up there and just play a bunch of Hagar tunes and, and whatever, maybe a couple of Van Halen. I said, let's do something different. Let's, let's, uh, let's just do some Van Halen songs. And I'll Sammy's guitarist, Vic, and his drummer, Dave. And then uh, this guy who works with Sammy, Paul Binder, he goes, hey, yeah, let's call it the Man Anthony Express. And we go, okay, yeah, that's as good as, that's yeah. as, good as name as anything. <laughs> you know, I purely just did it for the fun. And this yeah. last year I thought, you know, I, you know, I'm a little apprehensive about it because I don't really consider myself a lead singer. You know, even though I, I used to sing before I joined Van Halen, you know, lead singer, whatever. Uh, but it was fun. It was, mm -hmm. it was, it was a gas doing it. And uh, I might do it again if, it, if, if it's a cool situation. But I'm not going to go and take it out on the road. And it's just a thing for fun, like yeah, everything else exact, you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. But I wanted to clear that up. If any fans thought that I was doing that you know, under any other, you know, right. No, I don't think anybody that you think that.